This video shows the life story of the three mosquitoes of cornea, epithelial cells, keratocytes, and endothelial cells. In the realm of cornea, the life cycle of epithelial cells intertwines with their complex structure and vital functions. Originating in the limbus, these cells begin their journey, differentiating and migrating towards the corneal center. Structured in layers, the corneal epithelium acts as a resilient shield. The basal layer closest to the limbus is the birthing ground, where the cells undergo mitosis, generating a constant supply of new warriors. As cells ascend through wing and superficial layers, they mature and adopt specialized functions to fortify the cornea. Functionally, these cells serve as a strong defense against external injuries. The outermost layer, meticulously armed with tight junctions that bind its cells together, serve as a critical shield against invading pathogens. These junctions act like molecular zippers, sealing the spaces between cells and forming a nearly impenetrable barrier for microorganisms and foreign bodies. Meanwhile, the middle layer maintains transparency, crucial for clear vision. Beneath the surface, basal layer tirelessly produces new troops to replace those lost in ongoing battle. Finally, mature cells reach the corneal surface where they sacrifice themselves to the environmental challenges and are shed. The shedding is not the end but a transition, allowing a continuous renewal of corneal epithelium. Allow me to introduce Keratocyte, an essential hero in the vast world of cornea. Imagine Keratocyte as a born artisan who emerges from the cranial neural crest cells and makes it home in the mesenchyme. In its early years, keratocyte begins to shape the very fabric of the cornea, meticulously synthesizing various collagen types 1, 5 and 6 and crafting keratin sulphate that lend the cornea its structure and strength. As time passes, keratocytes mature into master craftsmen. It begins to produce crystallines, a family of proteins that like magical particles ensure the cornea remains clear and transparent. The role of keratocyte in maintaining this transparency cannot be overstated. When adversity strikes, be it injury, infection or disease, keratocytes don't falter. Some among its rank make the ultimate sacrifice undergoing apoptosis, a programmed cell death. Meanwhile, the other keratocytes, responding to the signals like IL-1-alpha and TNF-alpha from the corneal epithelium, undergo a dramatic transformation. They become active keratocytes of fibroblast, donning a new identity to sculpt a fresh extracellular matrix. These fibroblasts are like skilled repairmen, patching up the cornea with new tissue, ensuring that any damage is quickly and effectively repaired. In the face of more severe injuries, certain keratocytes take on an even more formidable role. They undergo a metamorphosis into myofibroblast adopting a fusiform shape and sprouting multiple nucleoli under the influence of TGF-beta. These myofibroblasts deposit a new extracellular matrix. The process begins with the production of collagen type 1 and 3, which form a dense network of fibers with keratin sulfate and dermatin sulfate that bind to water and help regulate the hydration of cornea along with adhesive glycoproteins that act like glue binding the ECM components together. These collagen fibers, when meticulously arranged, maintain the cornea's property of being both transparent and strong. If the organization of these fibers is laid down haphazardly, the cornea could become opaque. Throughout this tale, keratocyte proves itself to be a model of resilience, adaptability and unwavering commitment. Endothelial cells, much like vigilant custodians, play a crucial role in maintaining clarity and equilibrium within the intricate landscape of cornea. These specialized cells, often compared to gatekeepers, are responsible for orchestrating a delicate balance between hydration and transparency of cornea. Their primary role is to regulate fluid movement, ensuring that cornea remains in a relative dehydration through the sodium-potassium ATPase pump while preventing excess fluid that could lead to edema and dysfunction. The journey of endothelial cells begins at birth, where they are formed with a set number, destined to serve throughout one's life. With age, these cells face the inevitable challenges of time and their numbers gradually decrease. As the number of endothelial cells continues to dwindle over time, the ability of these cells to maintain the corneal clarity 
becomes compromised. In some individuals, the loss becomes significant enough to affect the vision, leading to conditions like corneal edema due to insufficient fluid regulation. Despite this decline, the remaining endothelial cells exhibit remarkable adaptability and resilience. They alter their size and shape to cover the areas left vacant by their lost counterparts, redistributing their efforts to maintain the cornea's essential functions, a phenomena known as pleomorphism and polymegathism. This compensatory mechanism ensures that cornea remains clear, allowing light to pass through unobstructed and preserving our vision. In summary, the three mosquitoes of cornea, epithelial cells, keratocytes, and endothelial cells, through their tireless work and unwavering dedication, ensure that the cornea remains a window to the world, a world that is clear, vibrant, and full of life.